Since 1945, commissaries have implemented measures to save tax dollars while still providing a top-notch benefit to the military community. To that end, each service branch established offices or agencies to run its commissaries. The Navy acted first in 1946 with the Navy Ship Store Office, later the Navy Resale and Services Support Office. It was followed by the Army Troop Support Agency, the Air Force Commissary Service, and the Marine Corps Commissary Office. By 1990, with the end of the Cold War in sight, Congress sought ways to trim the federal budget by cutting the defense budget and reallocating those funds. While commissaries seemed a likely place to make cuts and save money, Congress, still hoping to preserve the benefit and keep promises made to the military community over many years, commissioned a study of the commissaries. Congress acted on the study's recommendation that the services combine their commissary systems into one DOD-run agency, the Defense Commissary Agency, which last year observed its 25th anniversary. With a minute of history, I'm Pete Skirbunt, Defense Commissary Agency historian.